Steve. <laughs> Truth or <Amen>. fiction? <laughs> Traditional network security is dead. Fiction, uh, in my mind, because I think I've been doing the security thing since the 80s, and there's certain elements that just keep moving forward and evolving and changing. So it's not dead, but it certainly is different than it was just a few years ago. But the, the changing threat landscape, lots of different things coming in. Yep. The, a lot of clients aren't keeping up with that in terms of their network security. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, that people tend to think about, I said it and I forget it. And I, I, I try to get people to think about how do you evolve with the business, uh, with the changing technologies, with the new threats. And you have to be looking at all of those things to figure out what your strategy is and what you need to do operationally. Absolutely. And I think. What, what are you seeing? No, very similar sorts of things. I think. Uh, a lot of the rumors you hear in the market, a lot of things you see, the, the yep. threat landscape is actually getting dumber. I mean, the, the pieces of malware that are going in don't yep. have any intelligence built in. Their whole thing is to call out so um, and get a command and control and then understand what it's supposed Absolutely. to do. So to me, that just uh, demands that network security has to be even more sophisticated than before. Yep. It needs to understand which machines talk to which machines and how that's going to yep. happen moving I, forward. I think the network is this ginormous sensor. Uh, and defenders, and how do you use it to do both? Uh, defend uh, and sense and see what's going on. I have a model I created a while back I called 95.5. No math, just made it up because it sounded easy to remember, but I have to have enough defense to deal with 95% of the dumb things, yeah. and then I have to have a sensor to be able to collect and see what's going on um, and react to it, and that's the 5%. The reality is, from a budget perspective, it's a lot closer to 50-50. Yeah. I have to spend a lot to find the bad things that are happening, that went wrong, that somebody made a mistake, and do, a, do something about it. It's funny you talk about budgets. We see security budgets going up and down. We see uh, you know, the board members yeah. you know, potentially in trouble with the law if they're not addressing it enough. So you know, as they're starting to measure risk within an organization, how much, I mean, as a CISO of Cisco, how much do you take into consideration around that? You know, my risk thresholds, yep. is there a risk that I'm willing to take versus potential board members going to jail? Well, you want to avoid the board members <laughs> or the management going to jail. Um, and so that's a, that's a risk that we're unwilling to take. Uh, but there's a lot of other risks that you are willing to take. Um, BYOD is a, is a good example of, uh, of a risk we're willing to take to let people have the flexibility to use the technology they prefer because they care for it more, they like it better, all of those kinds of things. Um, but I'm willing to take that risk um, because uh, of the productivity and the usability yep. that comes with it. So you have to really understand every organization what you're willing to take, what you're not, what regulations are preventing you from taking some risks and how to balance all of that with how are you trying to change your business? Yep. Is it a steady state? Is it dry, dramatic sort of change in the business that you're trying to do, transformation in the business? If you are, you're gonna have to take more risk. And it's understanding all of that and having a good conversation with management and the board. These are the risks we are willing to take. These are the ones we're not. How come and what we're trying to do to manage those risks effectively. The client meetings that I'm involved in, I mean, the, the business strategy is much more closely Absolutely. aligned to security. Or maybe I've said that around the wrong way. Maybe yeah. security is much more closely aligned to yeah. the business strategy. And that's something that really I've seen taking place over the last 12, 18 months. Um, yep. So they are understanding what assets they're invested in, what risk profile they're looking at, yep, yep. Um, and then where they're going to invest. And it's all to enable the business. Absolutely. I think in a security space, and you've been it in a while as well as myself, yeah. it's, uh, we've always been the no people. Yeah. So <laughs> do you want to do something exciting, change? No. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to make more money for the company? No. <laughs> so. we, uh, we try to have an a, a enablement mindset. How do we right. enable the business to do what they're doing securely? In fact, uh, three or four years ago when our current CEO took over, we changed our mission statement from we connect everything to make anything possible for our customers to we securely connect everything right. to make anything. And that changed the discussion in our company. Absolutely. Uh, to everybody started to talk, really talk about it and embrace it and allowed me to talk about how I'm helping somebody enable what they're trying to do in the right way. It's funny you talk about I'm Australian and one of the yep. most successful credit cards uh, in Australia to date has been they, they purely changed their messaging on their commercials on TV and they add the word security or secure yeah. uh, to everything they talk about that particular card and 
the amount of um, uptake they've had on that card has been incredible. So yeah. by far the most successful marketing campaign around a credit card ever was, and we do it securely. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's interesting how business is now really of the mindset that yes, we've got risks and how are we going to adjust those, but everything we do has to be secure by design. And I think we've had that discussion yeah. before where yeah. you took it even a step further and added in secure uh, privacy Privacy by design. by design, security by design. And what that really means to me in our company is uh, that before I build anything, I'm understanding what security risks, back to our risk discussion. Yep. Uh, I'm willing to take which ones I'm, I'm not willing to take, what's the threat landscape, and, and what's the privacy implications of doing something. Yes. Uh, and I could do it one way and have one set of privacy implications, do it a different way, have a completely different set. And so, Privacy by design is having that discussion before I build it, yep. and then ensuring that I built it to those principles and designs that I wanted to achieve. So Steve, I think uh, this is the yeah. first of many sessions that we're going to do. I think yeah. we're in violent agreement in this one, actually, that traditional network security is still very valid. Yep. Um, it is absolutely imperative that the clients maintain that posture. They measure their risk, but they start to look at uh, anything they do with security built in and as part of everything that they do. Absolutely, and evolving your network because your network evolved as well. It used to be all in one yeah. place. Now it's scattered across the world in clouds. And so how do I evolve what I'm doing to encompass that and enable that in a secure way? I think we are in, a, in agreement around all of that. <laughs> Fantastic. Awesome. Awesome.